<laughs> Hello. We are back for our episode five uh -uh. of four. No, it's not. It's five. It's four. It's five. I'm, I'm gonna just go saying. back and check. It'll be down on the bar at uh, the bottom. <laughs> anyway, I'm Susan. I'm Karen. And together we are full, full of knit. knit. <laughs> and this is our little podcast about all things knitty, crochet, -y, crafty beer, a little bit of sewing. I was gonna say sometimes just crafty sewing. stuff. Crafty. Except now that my son has subscribed to our podcast, I can't show any of my sewing stuff right now because one of the things is for him for Christmas. You are the mom, so you can no. call him and say, do not no. watch. Well, he might not even be watching anyhow, but he subscribed. I'm so. going to bet he's probably not. He's probably not. He was just trying to make his old mother feel better. That's right. Yes. That's what her kid's for. <laughs> exactly. And bringing you a beer. Or a bourbon. Or a bourbon. <laughs> that too. <laughs> And babysitting the cats when exactly. you need to go out of town. Oh, yes, that too. <laughs> Do they freak out when he comes to town? No. Only when I come to town. Well, anybody but um, the three of us. Oh. They just, we are not really social people. <laughs> and not, live, Nor are the cats. Nor are the cats. So it's just that we live way out here in the woods. And when we invite people over, they're all like, oh, that's too far. <laughs> so It's not really that far. Well, we have a lot of lazy friends, and apparently, uh, apparently because... Apparently do, because, like, the first time I came yeah. out here, yeah, it seemed like a long way. But, yeah. like, today, it was like, boom, I was yeah. here before I knew it. Yeah. Which, by the way, I almost didn't make it here. Uh-oh, what'd you do? Well, you know, I had to pass the Harley-Davidson shop on the way, right? Oh, no, were they having a poker run? I don't know what they were having, but there was a lot of bikes out there and a lot of fellas. Uh -oh. And I'm thinking... Susan was looking for her oh, next husband. My, my future <laughs> ex-husband. Oh, yeah. Husband. Future ex-husband. Future ex-husband. Yeah, so I was like, mm, that uh, just stay straight. You got it somewhere you got to go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't look. Don't you look. Can, you can stop there on the way home. Maybe they'll still be there. Yeah, I don't know. The thrill. Yes. That's over That's now. over. Okay. Yeah, the feeling is there. Uh, Whatever. I ain't got time for all that crap. <laughs> I've wasted enough time on that. <laughs> I'm good. All right, so I guess we should start talking about personal stuff and get right to it. Today is Small Business Saturday. Yes, it is. Yay. Whoop, whoop. So this is going to be short because Maybe. we... Hopefully, we're going to get out of here real quick, and we're going to go do our part for yes. Small Business Saturday yes. for what is our local to us yarn shop at the Salty Sheep yeah. in Swansboro, North Carolina. Yeah. And there's also a bunch of other cute little shops in the same little downtown area, right. so who knows what else we may find. Probably some food. Probably food. Guess, but yeah. yeah. But it's mm -hmm. important to shop small. It um, is. I know it's it's convenient to be able to shop naked at two o'clock in the morning on the internet. Yes. That's convenient. Yes. And you can get a lot of stuff, different stuff that you can't find locally. But right. if we don't support our local our local businesses, then they right. won't be there. And the times that we need something right now, yeah, we won't be able to get it. Well, and then all you'll have is the Walmarts and Kmarts of the world. Right. And, and you won't have the service. Usually right. service is much better in a small business. Yeah. Um, they get to know you if you go there right. enough. You know, you don't walk into Walmart and the greeter doesn't say, hi, Karen. <laughs> No, they say, yeah. welcome to Walmart. They do. But and I sometimes think, they give you a little sticker. Do they still do that? Because, you know, I never go. Um, yeah, because that's all there is to shop here in Havelock. I mean, there's a, there's some small shops that I do frequent, but, you know. Gotcha. If you want to spool a thread in Havelock, you have to go to Walmart. Really? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right, well, let's get into it. Let's get out of Walmart and let's get into it. <laughs> We're going to start with FOs. You want to go first? You want me Certainly. Well, yours are already... Oh, what is... I did something to the left side of my back. Tony punched her. He must have. Or one of the cats. Something. I don't know. But every time I move wrong or take a deep breath, I have this stabbing pain. So if you he... all see that look on her face, it's not me. I mean, exactly. I'm not doing it to her. <laughs> if you hear like a gasp or something, don't worry. Nothing bad's happening. I'm just Just do slowly... a little Ma's breathing. <laughs> Just slowly falling apart. Yeah, you just giving birth to a podcast episode. Yeah, that's, that's all. It. There we go. <laughs> all right, finally, the nephew's longies Ooh. are done. Yay, Bigfoot! Bigfoot Christmas socks are it's pretty. Done. The colors showing up pretty good too. Yeah, I love this. I guess this is pooling. Yeah. What's the difference in pooling and flashing? I don't know, but anyway, it doesn't matter. He's oh, getting them, know. and the kids' flashing socks. When you open your Oh, God. Trent coat. And okay. <laughs> trench coat. And my son's socks. These, I've talked about these before on the podcast. I think I used like a size two needle for these on Hawthorne, Kettle Dodd, uh, Goddess is the colorway. I still got Jason's. I'm working on his mm -hmm. heels for those. So I've almost got his finished. 
So that's done. That's a Christmas present. In the books, I have socks too. And unfortunately, the hubby wore them before I could um, show them. So they might look a little fuzzy and there might be some cat hair. Yeah, a little bit. Anyhow, these are the Hermione's Everyday Socks in Knit Picks Felici in um, Steamer Trunk is the stripe. And then the stroll fingering and hot tamale for the heels and toes. I do 68 stitches for him on a 2.25 needle. And I was so excited to see um, Immuna Phillips' new sock club that comes out for next year. She's done a bunch of sizes. And um, the Christmas sock that came out, it comes in a 68 stitch awesome. sock. So now I don't have to keep figuring out how to do... What to do for him? Yeah, what to do for him. So yay. Yay, Nina, thank you. <laughs> Yay, Karen, for getting them done. I know. Oops. Have you got cast on more for him, or is that in the? No, I have um, over there. I have little bags with what he wants. What's going to be Christmas socks, or New Year socks, or maybe Valentine gotcha. socks? <laughs> okay. Get Christmas presents done first. Oh, I should probably tell you what I'm wearing today. This is my mm -hmm. 28th cousin 52 shawl. Yeah. Yeah, this is Sweet Georgia. Can't remember the colorway. It's been so long since I knit it. But that was the... <clears throat> we had it in the shop as a I sample. I was just trying to think, is that the coral or the rose? Yes, the coral rose or coral rose. something yeah. like that. It had a funky, rosy name, which, mm -hmm. was, which I wasn't... At the time, didn't think it was my color, yeah. but I love this colorway. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Well, I think we're showing the back side. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Because I see woven in ends. Oh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Oh, there's the front side. There, that's pretty. It's long. It's a long bind off, but it's fun to do, and it's I like it. I probably mm -hmm. knit. I think I've knit. I've knit two more. Have you? Yeah, of this pattern. I like it. Sweet <clears throat> George is such a nice yarn. Yes, it is. This is the tough love sock. Okay, so if you remember last week, <clears throat> I had attempted. Shut up. <laughs> I had attempted to knit the um, November cable hat. Remember, and it was like huge on my head so I frogged it on the podcast and after the podcast I went upstairs and, and cast it back on yes. and did it and she persevered yay I didn't give up on a size 11 uh -huh. which is much better uh -huh. don't you think mm -hmm. I wish I had done the 10 row the 10 yeah, rows so. of ribbing yeah because that's only less like six Still, I mean, did you want it to be a slouchy hat or a beanie hat? It, no, I think putting it on my head. I'm not going to do that now since we got somewhere to go. Yeah. But um, I think... I'll put it on my head. My hair, my well, hair flops you'll back. You'll see what I mean. Oh, yeah. It doesn't come down. But, yeah. I, mean, I mean, if you really... <laughs> <laughs> if you really do it. <laughs> so now my, it. now my side hurts and my brain hurts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Breathe. Excuse me while I shove that up. <laughs> you see what I mean, though? Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. No. And I haven't blocked it. So if I block it, I'm sure it'll give a little bit more. But, right. It'll stretch But a yeah, I wish bit. I had. I just did a size 11 needle. Didn't yeah. change anything. Just did a size 11. And that worked much better. And I'm waiting on pom-poms to get here so I can add that yeah, to yeah. it. And I think the way that you can do that so that you can take it off is to like put a button in the inside. Oh yeah. Thread the thread through uh -huh. and tie it and onto tie the button and that way when you if you need to wash the hat you can take the pom pom off. This is so And there's there's different ways. I don't oh, I did not come up with that on my <laughs> I saw that on the podcast. <laughs> Be real. Come on. Okay, so that's another FO. So that's done. I have just one more FO. Look, it's so cute. Because you know what my dirty mind thinks Child. everything one of us says FO, right? Yeah. I know. I can't <laughs> help it. Sorry. Tiny little baby pants, because I had a little bit of that um, Sardar Crofter DK left. <laughs> what? Nothing, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little bit left, so I made this. This pattern is called the Hideaway Nappy Cover by Marianna Mel, and it's free on Ravelry. It's an easy little pattern, maybe an hour, hour and a half. You can make a little diaper cover. And this is... Um, color 0165 and I did it on a size 
five and five for the ribbing and six for the little. Is that going in the box? Cover. That's going in the box for the maybe, imaginary grandchild. Yeah, for the imaginary grandchild. Children. I said children. children. Oh, children. Yes, I have boy and girl stuff in there. So who knows? Well, so either way, there. you're covered. Either way, their butt's covered. <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. Oh, what? hold on. Talk for a minute. Okay, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to do my okay. PSA. This is my public service okay. announcement. Okay, so <clears throat> a couple podcasts ago, I showed you guys my sock head cowl that I'm doing. And actually, that's where I was the last time you guys saw it. So I've made this much progress. And I think this is on like a 24 needle. So I'll show you the pattern. Hang on. Sock head cowl by the same chick that did the sock head um, hat. hat. Yeah. Okay, so that that's it. So it's on a 24, and I'm thinking, you know, this would just must be much easier if I had a 16-inch needle. Because remember last time yeah, I was here, I tried yeah, to borrow right, one from yeah. you when you didn't have yeah. a size 2. Mm -hmm. So um, I placed an order with Shelly last week, two mm -hmm. weeks ago, whatever. And so I got some needles, and I thought, okay, well, great. I will get a 16-inch Chagu yeah. number 2. And I did. Problem is, uh-oh, this Addy number two is, let's see if I can turn this around and show it to you, is a three millimeter, right? Can you guys see that? I hope so. All right, so it's a three millimeter, right? The Chagu is, oh, it's a 2.5. A 2.75. Oh, 275, yeah. yeah. Is a 275. I knew that Addie had um, wacky numbers. So now I can't use you can't. the Chagoos on my sock head cow because. So this is the second time this has happened to me. Remember we did socks one time? Mm -hmm. And oh, it yeah, said yeah, yeah. a size one mm -hmm. and they really meant a 2.25. Yes. But I had a one. But which Addie is, ones is a are two, two and a half. Is 2.5. Right. Yes. So, um, always check what the millimeter is. Yes. Because they're even not though standard. We're not, yeah, and even though we're not metric in the U.S., which I guess we probably are like late to the party on that, but... Oh, gosh, they tried doing that like 40, 50 years ago. Oh, yeah, when we were in like school. In the 70s. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the 70s, they did. Yeah. But always check the millimeter because it could mm -hmm. be a one or a two in Addy, and it is not going to be the same as Kayla, this... Point, case in point right here. So I'll have to find something to do with these, but I'm not going to be switching because that's a big, that's that a sucks. huge, what's well, a huge difference? It is. I mean, because here's, you can even see how big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's a big, big difference. So I won't be switching that over. So just always check the millimeters. I did check the millimeters on the sock mm -hmm. needles that I got to make sure that they were 2.25. Right. I didn't well, that's even why think, it makes I, I didn't sense think about checking to this. have everything in millimeters because we say one, two. Well, and, it's a U.S. one and a yeah. U.S. Just con it gets confusing. Yeah. But anyway, so I'll continue on like this. But I oh, know privileges. Okay, so remember last podcast when I started pulling out that poncho, ponchette. <gasps> uh, <coughs> finished. I have all these little balls. <coughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I like big balls and I cannot lie. lie. <laughs> so I have all of these. I'm gonna do is And these are blue balls. They are <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well then you don't need three. <laughs> how do you know how many I need? <laughs> Who are you? The ball please? <laughs> How's that rib? Yeah. Oh, stop. <laughs> God, it hurts so bad. Keep um, on. Oh jeez. <laughs> Keep on. <laughs> I'm gonna reskin these <laughs> once I yeah heal or something, Lordy. Um, the, so I can soak them because you see they're all you're gonna soak your blue balls. I am gonna soak them. Why are you gonna because they're kinky? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is just getting better. I need and to better. unkink my balls. This is just getting better and better. <laughs> keep on, girl. Keep on. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna wind them back up and soak them, and then who knows what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> I have a little teddy bear downstairs and needs a sweater, so he might get a sweater. <laughs> and some balls. His name's Bobby. <laughs> I can be Bobby Blue Balls. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my 
I'm so sorry. We um, are back um, in second way. grade. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, don't watch this with your children. I think oh, we should no put a, um, a disclaimer. A disclaimer. Yeah, the we, we probably this really is, should. Did we get one of those little TV signs that uh, says TVMA? That's us. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. mature audiences oh. only. Uh, Our immature audiences, because apparently, <laughs> because apparently we're not mature. Sure. Oh Jesus, that was funny. Oh God. All right. <laughs> okay. Now what? Uh, um. <laughs> the all about the blah 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 blah. Yeah. Cheers. The uh -huh. look at my cute oh, cup. My, my friend Giselle gave me. It says you had me at meow. That is so cute. And then inside. Well, I would tip it and show you, it but it's hello. full of tea right now. It's got a little kitty. It says, there you can see. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you would think it would say meow. Since the outside says you No, I think it says that. hello, like, hello, I'm going to kill you in your oh. sleep. Well, because it looks like that evil cat you <laughs> that have. That looks like the evil Cheeto. Okay, so last podcast, I uh, showed my all about the bling shawl that nobody had seen. The one with all the beads and this, like, 572 mm -hmm. stitches. Yes. So, I did two rows this week. <laughs> or in between podcasts. This week. And that's how long it took. <laughs> well, because I timed myself. The knit row took me 27 minutes. And the purl row took me 30 minutes. So, an hour for two. And that was not, I wasn't goofing around. I wasn't, like channel surfing in between yeah that was just pretty much taking a break every now and then to pick up my drink take something to drink and that was it you so, know yeah. what i did <clears throat> on um just so you whip know. hat i'm gonna show you i tried doing that portuguese knitting where you put it around your neck yeah and you use when your they make that little tool for that, that little yeah thing but going. you yeah. that's if you don't want to put it around your neck right I think, or for more I tensioning know. i don't know i didn't even look it up. i had seen it before i couldn't figure out how to do it with knitting but Purling? Oh my gosh. I was just going to tell you, you should try it because it went fast, fast. Really? Because you're holding it and it's around your neck and right. that's tensioning it and you're um, just using your thumb. Like you put the um, needle in the stitch and you just flip your thumb around and do it like that. I know the sock magician, Nathan, he does Portuguese knitting. So. Yeah. I might try it because, you know, I've talked about my arthritis before and... My fingers are getting all wonky, and my thumb was starting to hurt. Yeah, little short thumbs. Right there. The I have hitchhiker thumbs. Look. Yeah, little short I can give me a ride. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I had read that it's it's better on your hands, so I thought, well, let me try it. So I might get one of those little hook things and try it out. And try it out. Yeah, see. see. Okay. But the purling, like I said, it went it went fast. Okay, oh, so it's... you got any more? I don't have any more finished stuff. You got any whips? I do. Oh, that's where we're at. It's whips. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I got a whip. Okay. Go ahead and show. Are you sure? Yeah. This is a big whip. This is kind of going to be a whip and a booty call all at one time because okay. the whip is the booty call. Okay. So, um, I made my son a blanket a couple years ago and it took me about a couple years to get it done. And every time he'd come <laughs> home, I'd work on it. And he's like, dang, mom, am I ever going to get that? And I'm like, I don't know, son. And I just, then I would put it away. Anyway, I finally, finally, finally got it done last Christmas, Christmas before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, yeah. <clears throat> and I couldn't tell him. I didn't want him to know because it had been right. so long. I didn't want him to know I'd done it. So <laughs> he came home for Christmas, and we're at church Christmas Eve, and we're sitting there, and he leans over and he says, "Mom, am I ever going to get that blanket?" And I had to lie in church to my kid. <laughs> oh man! I said. Jason, you didn't get struck by lightning? No. Well, I, did, I guess I really didn't lie. To it. Anyway, I just said, Jason, I don't know what to tell you about that blanket. I had, it, We had to break up. I had to break up with it. Oh, you I didn't just say had that to it wasn't up done. With it. So I guess it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't really a lie. I said, well, I just had to break up with it. Mm -hmm. I'll, you'll get it at some point, but now's not the time. I just mm -hmm. had to let it go. So then we got home that night for Christmas, and I had wrapped it in a turkey roaster box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked, he's like, oh, thanks, Mom. Because A, he doesn't have a lot of room in his right. apartment. He's like, what the hell am I going to do with the turkey roaster? He's like, oh, thanks. And I was like, Jason, open the box. So then he opens the box and there it is. Right. And he's like, oh my God, I didn't think I was ever going to get it. Yeah. So anyway, long story short, talking to him the other night, he wants another blanket. So, you know, I wasn't going to order from Knit Picks uh -huh. when they had their 60% off sale, right? Well, then the kid said, I want a blanket. I want a blanket. So, so you're like, hi, Knit Picks. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. That would be my second order because I did end up doing it. Yeah. 
Um, so the pattern I chose is out of the Done by Monday um, Afghan by Plymouth Yarn. I love, I love that book. Yeah, this will be my third one out of here. Yeah. And I'm doing the, well, it's number eight. I'll show you the, I'm not going to show you this because it's paid for, but I'll show you the, um, yeah, what I've done so far. <clears throat> so I asked him what he wanted. He said he wanted green. So I got. Are you doing one of the patterned ones or just yep. the plain ones? Mm -mm, I'm doing oh. a pattern one. So I got Mighty Stitch. I love that. Yep. Mm -hmm. In the Ivy, Ivy colorway. Mm -hmm. And then I got the Chroma in the Lakefront. Because in this mm -hmm. pattern, you knit on a size 13, you knit two strands, the worst two strands together. Mm -hmm. um, so I got that. And I've gotten this much done. And I oh, wasn't sure about it at first, you know, because it's. I like it. Because it's variegated. Yeah, but, but I it think. It's really tweedy. Well, the more. I didn't like the, the border. And that was because yeah. I was seeing the same thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then yeah. when it changed, and then I've got mm -hmm. that, and now it's going to stripe like that. Yeah. I think I like it more. So anyway, it's looking blue on here. This is really a green green. It is green. I mean, it's looking so blue. I wonder why. Probably just the light. I don't If I block. I don't know. Anyway, it's a green green. Y'all can go on next pick. Knit picks and see it. It's a green green. It's ivy. I mean, come on. Yeah, so I think it's pretty cool, don't you? It is really cool. I like it. Find the um, picture in the book so you can show them what it's going to look like. Oh, uh, yeah. When it's you get done. Number eight. Is this like the basket weave pattern? Mm -hmm. in there? No, nope. oh. this is it. Oh. Okay. So, oh, yeah. so that's what it'll look like. But yours will be cooler because it's not all one color. Right. I like the variegated. In but there. This, is, this is a great book. I've done, like I said, it this is. will be yes. my third one. They go quickly. They you will not get done by Monday unless that is all you do all right. weekend. But but it'll take, gosh, it I take, made the last one I made out of there. I made just the plain one that's on the cover. Right. I think it took me about a week. Yeah, of I knitting about, every night for a couple hours. I thought about doing that one. Yeah. It's just plain. It's got mm -hmm. a border around it. Um, yeah. but I wanted more than that. Right. You do so, more board. Yeah. No. So I chose that one and. And she's got this lovely um, progress keeper on here. Yeah, from my friend Kron. <gasps> who made that? You made that. <laughs> That's who made that. Aren't you a special I girl? Special. I had some clay. I had fun. You did. Yeah. It came in my in my uh, Christmas. I it think it was did. in my Christmas. I think thing. it did. I believe. I'm oh look, sorry. I made. Oh, I didn't make this, but I was seeing all these cute stitch marker bracelets. <clears throat> and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to buy or if I'd even wear one. So I, I had this little bracelet and I stuck a bunch of my stitch markers on there and I kind of like it. So I may have to buy one. I had the yes. Harry Potter one from the yeah. Sexy Knitter. I know. I saw she had a bunch and I was, you know, I was trying not to do a lot of shopping because my hubby, I gave him a really big list of nitty yarny stuff for Christmas. And I think he bought quite a bit of it. Awesome. So, Can I, I get him my list? <laughs> I know. Slide your list in there, too. Yeah. You know, he was like, what do you want? And I was like, well, let me just write it down. You don't have to buy everything. But Never next thing you know, that. I'm sitting there watching him. And he's Never just like, that. done. Done. Never say you I, don't have to buy everything. I have a terrible guilt complex. Why? Like, don't buy everything. No. But I think he did buy everything. So, yay me. Yeah, well, let him. Let the man do what the man needs to do. Well, he always likes he likes buying me jewelry, and it's like you know I don't work anymore. We live in Havelock, North Carolina, which is it's a military town. It's not fancy. The fanciest restaurant you can go to in shorts and a t-shirt. It's like I don't need diamonds and jewels. Jewels. I have a you know I have some, but you know You're I good. think this is more fun than <laughs> that's like that's oh, more useful. I know this is more useful. So, all right, what's next? I'm, oh my God, <laughs> shut up. Are you really? I'm, okay. I bought this I'm... book <laughs> years ago because of this pattern. Yeah. Oh the my cover. God. Can you see that now? <laughs> because my mother and I have this running joke about it, cows. Is that what you said you were? Yes. Okay. And here's. the little thing out. Stop! And there's the back. 
So I'm making this from my mother for Christmas. That because she um, she volunteers at a nursing home. Yeah, look at this. And she likes to wear weird stuff. Y'all remember the flamingo scarf? She wore it into the nursing home and they all just about fell out of their chairs. So I'm making this hat, but PSA, like Susan said, show the front again. Show the front of the hat. See how high that hat sits up? See her little forehead? The top of her head's probably right here. And see how much is sticking up? They have to have stuffed something in there. See the little line? Yeah. Because even if you put the knitted lining in there, it's not going to sit up like that. So, so what you going to do about that? So I, had, I modified, because I put the hat on my head, knitted the way it was supposed to, and it came down like this. And my mother, so she, my had, mother's an itty bitty person. You had too much on yes, yours, and right. I had not enough on mine. So what I did is I just went back, and I was lazy. I didn't want to take out a bunch of rows and redo a bunch of decreases because who knows how much she's going to wear Look this? At that. It's just going to be. Look at the elephant. I know. And the mouse. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I went back and took some rows out and made it. Ta da. Okay. Like that. Wait. So you. I got all the pieces made and don't tell my husband, but tomorrow I'm putting this on his head and making him sit there while I. <laughs> <laughs> Videotape that, please. I'll give him some bourbon first, oh, and then I'll be that like, "That is hilarious." When he falls asleep, I'll just slide it over his head. <laughs> I would love to be here for that. Wait, hold my horns. Oh. Hold my horns. You know what? This is getting ridiculous. I had to hold your balls a while. Ago. I know. Now I have to <laughs> I hold your hold horns. <laughs> Wait, and here's my ears. Oh my god! I could have. Oh, look, here's little patches. <laughs> <laughs> you are stupid. Have you been drinking this morning before I got here? <laughs> nope. I had to get up really early this morning, and I don't oh, so deal well with that. So and what look, you're saying is, here's is that the your, ears. Right, here, I got the ears. Ear. All right. <laughs> Where's the little? Oh, and here's the little. Oh my god, this is hilarious. And then there's the little face, face, and then the eyes will go right there. So I think it'll. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. Anyhow, once I put it together, it's going to be really cute, and she's going to get a kick out of it. I'm so glad this, you like to do that stuff. I, I every went, time I try cutesy stuff, it just doesn't work for well, me. I wasn't I wasn't sure it was gonna work. I was getting really ticked off, but about the size of the hat, but I let it go. Let and it's it go. made out of um charisma yarn. It's just a, an acrylic oh. from Michaels. We have oh no, it's a bit <laughs> <laughs> This one is taupe for the little face and then off white and of course black and surprisingly I went to Michael's to buy this and they are this was buy one get one free yeah shut up I know when was that it was last week oh was it yeah wow. last weekend last Saturday I went in there and I wasn't sure how much it was going to need, so I just got two of each, and I was thinking, this is going to be an expensive damn joke hat, but it wasn't. But then when she rang it up, I was like, what? Did you take the coupon? Yes, yeah, I had a coupon. I always, I always forget my and coupon. And she's like, oh, you can't use the coupon because it's buy one, get one free. Oh, even better. And I was like, yay. I'll take that. So I gave my 50% off coupon to the lady behind me in line, because I... I always forget the yeah. Friggin' coupon. Well, oh no, you don't have... Well, I was going to say that you can get them on your phone, but... I don't do that. No. Well, I, you know what? Actually, one of the ladies in the checkout one day, the cashier, uh -huh. I said I left... I said, as always, I walked out and left my coupon at home. Well, you can pull it up on your phone. I said, honey, I have a dinosaur phone. No, she I does. can't. And, <laughs> and you know what? The cow would not... They used to keep, mm -hmm. keep them back there and swipe it for you. No, she wouldn't even do that. Wow. Is that the one in New Bern? Yeah. Yeah, they're pissy. The one in Moorhead's better. Well, they used to. Before yeah. I'd gone in there and forgotten, and they oh. would just pull one and do it for me. But not her. She was lecturing me about my phone. Well, you know, I don't have a smartphone. <laughs> I don't want a smartphone. So, whatever. Um. Did you say, well, when I get my little survey thing, I'm going to take that survey and tell them no. how to be out sure? Nope. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> nope, I did not. Okay, so no, I'm done. done. I think okay. 
Yeah, I'm all whipped out. Okay, well, I have. Yeah, we're not going to whip. I talked about this last week to uh, making these knitted knockers for a friend of mine. Do you, you know they have a new revised pattern? Do they? I like mm -hmm. this one because yeah, I can do. do it without reading the pattern. Okay. So, anyhow, I finished the blue one. I haven't sewn it or stuffed it, and it's got cat hair on it. There's the blue one. I told y'all she's a Michigan football fan, so got a blue one. And then I started the yellow one yesterday. I swear, people. Kay, the crazy sock lady, she's my neighbor. She came over yesterday and she's sitting there knitting. And I think she made like three things in the time it took for me to make this. I was like, What is she a machine? <laughs> Is she real? Well, what she was making. Let me show you. Nope. Oh, where'd it go? You, might, you probably saw them on her Instagram. Um, oh, the little baby socks. The little baby socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got one. Look at so cute. cute. But she was sitting there, and I looked down, and she had like three of them in front of her. I said, did you make all of those? But she had one that was already started. Cute. But, but yeah, I did this, ornaments. and she made like three of those. Well, I know, but that's a lot of double knit, um, double cute. point needles flying around. Anyhow, so hopefully these will be done soon. I was going to stripe them, but I thought that's a lot of work. Yeah. So. True. Yeah. So she'll have one of each color. One for each side. One for each side. Yep. And that's it. Yep. That's it for me. For uh, whips. Yep. Okay, so we've done okay. FOs. We've done whips. Yep. Um, before I forget, Karen and I want to give a big shout out to Miss Allie Makes. To Hi, my knowledge. Allie. Hey, Allie. <laughs> to our knowledge, she is our first and only out of the United States subscriber. Subscriber to our little Gosh. podcast. Um, there may be others. She's just the only one, first and only one that we know about. Um, if you haven't checked her podcast out, Hit pause on this one, run over and subscribe to hers. She is funny. She is got that awesome accent, so yes. it's very easy to listen to and her. Talented. Talk. She started and she's talented. She's talented. Yeah. Own, so um, just yard. go check her out. Pause us. Run over and check her out. We'll wait. Okay. No, we won't. Yes, we will. <laughs> we now have shopping to do today. <laughs> just go check her out. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. No. She, she's. Yeah, I enjoy her podcast, and I hope she keeps on doing it. Plus, she's got a 150 um, subscriber giveaway that she's doing. Oh, cool. So, go over there, check it out, and Yay. comment, and you could be eligible to win her giveaway. Um, all right, so I've got that done. She did she's that. so Didn't organized. Forget. I just I have a bunch of stuff on the chair right here, and I'm like, hey, look what I got. Okay, <laughs> so... Um, can we move on to booty call? Sure. This might actually be our shortest episode ever. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We could just talk okay. about random stuff. Yeah. Or we no, could get on the we road. To... <laughs> we could get on the road to Swansboro. Hello. She what is wrong with you? She doesn't open till 11. We got time. Oh my God. Right? Well, I don't know. I We're don't good. Either. We got to come all the way over there. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, booty call. <laughs> I got I got some booty call. Um, you saw the knit picks, mighty stitch, and chroma in the blanket. I got mm -hmm. that. I also ordered from Random Fandom Bags. I ordered oh how cute three little tea bags. Sorry for the crinkling, but three little tea bags that we're gonna put in our um, giveaway box. Cool. You have the giveaway box. I do. Okay, I'll, I'll let you put those in the giveaway right. box. Those Hush. will go for a future um. Look how cute this one's got a little, oh, a little I forgot to even look scissor at thingy. I forgot to look at the charm. And this one's got a little sweater. Oh, that's cute. Being knitted. And that one's got a little tea bag. That one's got a little tea bag. It says cute, cute. Hot yeah. chocolate. Hugs, uh, hot chocolate. Hugs oh. and hot chocolate. Oh. So anyway, yeah. you yeah, put, put those in there. in there. That'll be for future giveaways. Okay. Um, and my other. Yay. <laughs> oh, so excited. I know I said I was going to cast it on because I couldn't wait, but I did wait. I didn't okay. cast it on. I didn't want to mess it up. Um, I ordered some Christmas yarn from Shelly at Hope Knit Yarn. Ooh. I know, right? Pretty. So the first one I got is 
I'll Be Home for Christmas. And this is greener than it's showing. This is looking like a green blue. This is really, really a Christmas green, don't you think? Mm-hmm. So let's make it naked and see how... I wonder how it's going to knit up. I wonder if it's going to knit up like gray bonfire or... I don't know. I didn't ask her, but... Because it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. It may. It may. It may knit up like... Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I got to decide if I want to do contrasting heels and toes. So... Well, I would start knitting it up and... And see. Yeah, because you'll have like the whole... Do you do toe up? Um, I do both. Down. Well, if you do top down, you'll have like the whole leg the, to look at it and see what it looks like. Well, and the then gray bonfires decide. I did. Uh huh. I did cuff down, mm -hmm. and I did a contrasting cuff. Mm -hmm. Remember, I did it with the hawthorn yeah. with Alex's yarn, and then I did the heel and the toe mm -hmm. contrasting. Yeah. So I don't know. It would be pretty with like a gold. Heel and toe. Because right. reds are so hard to match. Yep. Well, maybe while we're at the sheep today. Okay, we'll yeah, look and take see. It and see. Yep. Okay. See what... Um, Excuse me while I lean back here. This How's that rib? too yellow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this might be too yellow. Yeah, Let it's too tell. yellow. So, anyway, I will... I'll look at the sheep today when we go down there. Yeah. And see if I can find one. Because I want to look for... I didn't get that as tight as she had it, but that's all right. Uh, there's the other one that I got, which I think this is so pretty. It's pretty, is really pretty. This was really pretty on Instagram and on her shop. But this is so much prettier in person. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. This one is the silver and gold. And it's just got all kinds of... It reminds me of gingerbread. I don't know. It just reminds me of... Christmas. I mean, well, it says it all. And silver gold. and gold. Yeah. Yes. So let's see what this one looks like. She's probably yelling, it's not going to knit like gray bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be getting yeah, a... This one won't be knitting like gray bonfire. No, that's... Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. oh, I can't wait to knit it. It looks like Christmas tinsel. I'm sure that's the point. But yep. <laughs> yeah, so I want to find maybe maybe we can look today. You can mm -hmm. help me pick out uh, yeah. contrasting heels and toesies. Yep, heels and toes for it. <laughs> what? It smells like yarn. It does. It smells good to me. I don't know about you. Oh. So I for my last trip to the sheep, I went there with my little skein of Tosca yarn that I had left over. So I can make a hat to go with my mitts. I don't know how the heck the yarn dyer people do this. Like they... Practice. I oh, know, I guess. So I got... This is what? You so sporty. It's a sport you wave. so crazy. And I got a skein in the wheat. And a skein in the soft sage. Because I wasn't sure which one I liked better. But I'm going to do the ribbing. And I think I'm going to do... Um, the pattern is called the Olivia hat. You can't really see the the patterning in it, but it looks it's gonna have the patterning like these mitts. But I think I'm gonna do like the stitch count from the sock head hat. Or yeah. Modify it to fit this stitch count. Right. Instead of trying to figure it out myself. So anyhow. One of those pretty. It. It's we'll wild see. that you have so much of that left over. I know. I, those mitts didn't take hardly anything. And, you know, I might be able to get a whole hat out of this, but I don't know. It would irritate the snot out of me if I got to the of very end. And so <laughs> you, may as well, you may as well just go ahead right, and put so a brim that's on what it. That's I was thinking. Just go ahead and put a brim on it, and then I won't have to worry about it. Then you won't be able to hear me cussing all the way in New Bern. It's all right. I've heard it before. It doesn't bother me. Do you have mole? Um, no. That's okay. it. I am done, well, I sister. Have, I have. Well, I did my my nitpicks craziness. Oh. Kay tagged me in her. Guess what? Nitpicks is got Felici out again. See, and I wasn't going to order anything because I'm thinking, you know, because I've been trying not to. But no. oh my gosh, those are pretty. I got two of each, so but I'm just showing you one because you know. 
This one's probably my favorite, Goth Kitty. Ooh, that one's pretty. I think I saw, I did look at them. Goth Kitty. I did look at and them. And then there's Hibiscus. Just a little glare. Let me guess. The oh. ones on that side are for the of RO. Of course. And these are for Although these. he did like the Goth Kitty. Really? Yes. Hmm. I thought, well, maybe I'll have to order more for you. And Hopscotch. And then the Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, and Treehouse. They even have that is all for me. masculine names. Treehouse. Hawaiian shirt and Spaceman. Really? <laughs> so that's pretty pretty. So they only I put out three new shoes. I mean six new colors yeah, this time. Six new colors. And supposedly they had um, like a sale on some of the leftover colors, but I didn't see that. Somebody had posted that they did. Yeah, I they did. I, I saw I them. But I also bought one of these because I thought it was cute. The itty bitty little sock rocker. Oh, has it got the keychain? Yeah, yeah. I thought about buying those check. before. I just thought it was Look cute. Look at there, you got a sock all made gone. I know, I can put my sock on it. Actually, I had this hanging down on the mantle with all my other socks. And then I've got these aren't really booty calls, but these are some ideas for Christmas things that you need hams. Actually, this I made last year at the Salty Sheep, that the Sheep cute. Ball. I wish I'd have been able to take that class. Yes, I think she's doing another class next Saturday. I have to ask. I have to work, of course. I'm off this Saturday. This one my friend Suzanne made. Cute. Okay. She also made this one. This one was a couple of years ago. <laughs> They're plastic. Your balls right. are falling My everywhere. balls are all over the floor. <laughs> Isn't this cute? The way she just wrapped it around and made the little knitting needles. She gave me one of those too. Did she? And yep. then Kathy, she, I think she got this idea from you. Didn't you do these? Yep, I did. Yeah. And see, it's got the little knitting thing inside. So, I don't have a Christmas tree. Actually, I have one on the front porch. I can't have yeah, one in the house. Yeah, not putting this on the front porch. And these, uh, I have four ornaments now. I had, um, five years ago, we had the Great Shed Fire. <laughs> Lightning struck our shed out in the backyard. Serious? Yeah, you didn't know that? Well, I heard about the Great Shed Fire, but I don't yeah. know that I heard All how All my happened. Christmas decorations were out there, and they all burned up. I can't reach it. And I just didn't have the... The heart, because they were like ones from when I was a kid and when Noah right. was little. It's kind of easier just to ignore it. And yeah, not with and then it. I yeah. thought, you know, I'm not going to go out and just buy plain old or ornaments that don't mean anything to me. Because, and then last weekend was the Scrooge Fest here in Havelock that the Catholic Church does, and it's crafters from all over the place. Oh, and the so I went up there and looked around, and and. Shut up! Wind up alpaca! It's an alpaca! Uh, uh. Apparently there's an alpaca farm down in Newport. Did you know that? Did I know that? Roberts Road behind the Speedway, the gas station? I don't know if I knew that or not. Well, I didn't. They had, they didn't have any yarn there. Um, they just had like already made things. But they had this little Shut bar. up, he is too cute! And they have, um, they're going to be at the Beaufort thingy next month. Yeah, December, mid-December. We'll have to look at the dates. The craft thing? Yeah. That's where I got my bracelet. Yeah. Right I think she, he said they were going to have yarn there. But anyhow, I don't know if you'll be able to see him. Um. Nah. Here. <laughs> How old are we? <laughs> like, today is our... <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Come, Come on, on, little buddy. I know, when he starts winding down, he gets a little tired. <laughs> Oh, kick your feet. He's mad. It's like your cat. <laughs> My epileptic cat. <laughs> and yeah, oops. I got uh -oh. my bracelet. Oh, but look. Is he not the cutest? Look at that face. <laughs> I had to have him, you know. Has he got the little teeth? No. No. No, it's just a little lip. He's got his little lip. Yeah, he's cute. He's got tiny little ears. That is ears. funny. I find it. That is hilarious. I say. Uh, also. Only yarn people would get a kick out of that. <laughs> You know, I saw him, and they had two of them, and I saw him, and I walked around, and they had a lot of vendors, so 
I saw him and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have him. And I thought, no, Karen, how old are you anyhow? <laughs> and so <laughs> I walked all the way around and looked at everything and bought the things I wanted to buy. And I had money left. Well, and there I was you like, go. It's a sign. So I went back and got him. You must you must adopt the alpaca. <laughs> it, well, I really like to have a real alpaca, so the RO will settle for this without well, much fussing. Move out way out well, in the country. We actually have enough. We have almost two acres out here if we cut down some trees. Oh, but, do you? Yeah. Or, but are you allowed to have critters out here? Probably not. We could put up a fence. <laughs> well, because you know there's How some areas know? the way they're zoned, you can't have like livestock in the area. Well, one of our neighbors has chickens, so well, I'm that's assuming livestock. I could have an alpaca, right? Well, that's livestock. Yeah. But I also got... Things. How come I didn't know about this Scrooge Fest? You don't know about the Scrooge no. Fest? It's been going on for years When was and it? Years. Last Saturday? Yeah. Last Saturday. I had to work yeah. anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Anyhow, this is a lady down in Emerald Isle, which is down towards the Salty Sheep, where we're going today. It's green Tree Living. And she doesn't do wool soap yet but did you um, talk to her about it i'm going to talk to her about it she was really busy because because i talked to one at the <sighs> chrysanthemum festival one year yeah about it this body soap this one is burnt orange patchouli you know i gotta smell you gotta smell them all oh and this one is hair body and beard soap so noah if you're watching this is going to be in your christmas stocking this rosemary and lemongrass. I'm glad you pod because I was like, is there something? Who's getting about a beard? You? I don't know. Yeah. About you. <laughs> and rosemary and lemon. Bay rum. This Ooh. one's probably my favorite. This is going in our because stocking. it's got liquor in it. Yes. <laughs> and then lavender. And this one's hard for me to smell. Really? That one's got the strongest scent to me. Well, I've already smelled these two. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what it is. Lavender and lemongrass. Dang, how many did you buy? But, well, they were five dollars each, or five for twenty. So it's like get, it, not like getting one free. It is getting one free. And then candy cane. So. No, oh, that one I can smell. But yeah, I was going to talk to them. And they're vegan. See, I know some of them are, not all of them. I mean, I'm not vegan. I don't right. Know. It doesn't matter to me, but I know it does matter. But they're to all people. natural. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, all natural. So I, I'm gonna go down and talk to her and see if she's ever made anything. She's in like Emerald Isle. Wash. Yeah. So she, does she have a brick and mortar? Yeah, yeah. she does. Oh, does she? Yeah. Awesome. What yeah. else does she sell besides soap? We should always stop there too. Yeah. Yeah. What else does she sell besides soapies? Um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I've never been in her store. Well, I mean, she didn't have anything else at the show, at the Scrooge Fest. She like had, I think she had like oils and stuff. But oh, that would make sense. Yeah. That would make she sense. That, is that all I have? Yeah. Are you that's done? It. I think that's it. Are we done? My box here is empty. Shut up. Are, Are we done? done? Yeah. That's not even an Shut hour. the door. Front door, back door, side door, this sliding is a, glass this door. This is a quick and tidbit. Well, it's we serious. usually do about an hour. I know, but this, we're not even an hour. Yay. So that's good. Um, maybe we'll try to take some pictures of the salty sheep and tag them on at the end of the yeah. episode. Yeah. Um, let you see our small business shopping. Yeah. Small business Saturday shopping. Yep. I'd and hopefully to... you are all out there doing it too. Um, right. This probably won't go up till tomorrow. So I think that's what I was getting ready to say. I'd yeah. love to tell y'all to run out there right now, but it'll be yeah. over time. You guys catch this. So yeah. Anyway. All right. So are we done? I think we're done. Yay. Y'all have a wonderful get two weeks. Go get my shopping on. <laughs> We've actually kind of planned things out, so we should be on a two-week schedule. I hope so. Yes. I think I'm going to have try. to go out of town in February. Is that good, Liam? Yeah. Well, we yeah. can figure stuff out. And then March 23rd. Carolina going to Fiber the Carolina Fest. Fiber Fest. So if any of you guys are going to be there, hit us up and let us know you're going to be there. We'd love yeah. to... Check meet in you. and meet you. Um, if there's any other podcasters that want to get together, maybe we could do that too. And if nothing else, hopefully we will get some footage from there yeah. and show you what it's like. And um, my favorite yarn dyer will be there. Jelly, Yay. she's coming. There you go. So, all right. I guess uh, we'll sign off and say adios, mother cluckers. <laughs> mother knitters. <laughs> hey. We're back. We forgot to try our beer. Oops. Ooh. 
this is UFO's Cranberry, which is a refreshing Hefeweizen infused with fresh cranberries. And Hefeweizen is an unfiltered wheat here. Oh. It's a German style So that's beer. why it says it pours cloudy because yes. it's unfiltered. There you go. All and right. this is from UFO Brewing. It says Boston and Vermont. I thought, I think they mainly come from Vermont. Maybe they have another brewery, a new one in Boston. Swirl Anyhow. it as you pour. What the hell yes. does that mean? Well, because you don't want all the, oh, there's like sediment in so the So you're not going to shake it. You're just kind of. Right. Yeah. You shake like it, this. not stirred. James Bond beer. Who knew? Anyway, I actually might like this one because I like cranberries and I like fruit in my beer. She, on the other hand. You know, I might. Who the heck? Ew, is I don't know. It's got a little. Is it just my imagination or does it have a little. A little pink tinge pink to it's it? It's a little peachy looking. Let's see what it. I was like, oh, it's only 4.8% alcohol, so we can have a little swig before, well, we, before we drive down to Swan's Beer. The borough. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? Tangy. Oh, I like it. I like this a lot. It's not bad. It's not bad. Girl, move out the way. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I wish we weren't leaving the house. Well, we could, I'd actually finish that. I like that. Let me cork it and you can take it home with you? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> but I don't like to drink alone. You know that. It's, a social, it's totally a social thing for me. Yeah. Um, No, I like this, Karen. I'm going to give this a thumbs up. What are you going to give it? Kind of thumbs up. I mean, it's not horrible. It's it's not real fruity. No. no. I think the it is tangy a little bit. It has a weird finish. Or it maybe gets, it's just It gets me. that. It yeah, gets, it gets that your salivary glands back going. Back in the back. <sighs> yeah. Like sauerkraut and dill pickles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's I like not it. terrible. I would buy it and drink it. All right, folks. So UFO cranberry. If you find it, try it. And it's festive. It's for the holiday season. Yes. Cranberries at Thanksgiving. Cranberries yes. at Christmas. It says so. a little sweet, a little tart, a lot delicious. It is. I there agree with go. that. All right. And it only 4.8% alcohol. Okay. It's not so, going to knock you on your butt. So now we're up to 1050. 1050 was the thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Have you been keeping track of this? I have not. The IPA was... There was one after 1050 that was a down for me. Written, I oh, have to go the, back on the, podcast the, the bourbon back. barrel aged. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. And like then that the one. last one the was snake a... Snake Dog IPA. Snake Dog was a sideways thumb for me. Yes. Right? Yes. So, and this is our fourth one. It is. See? So, we missed an episode of that beer. Is, so, it is fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Told Yay. you. Ha. All right. <laughs> Let's get out of here and go shopping, girl. Bye, kids. Bye.